custom Excel dashboard backgrounds bring a level of polish and professionalism to your reports, enabling you to take them from this to this. And the good news is custom backgrounds are super easy to create using PowerPoint. Making reports visually appealing can help draw in your audience, creating interest and intrigue. Of course, it's super important that you don't put design above good chart choices. So always keep that in mind when designing your reports. The first step is to create your dashboard or report. Once you have the charts that you're going to use, you can then design the background. Don't do it the other way around because this will limit the dashboard and put the importance of the design above the content, which is a no-no. Once you're happy with your dashboard content, go into PowerPoint and on a blank slide, you can insert shapes and images to place your charts and headings on. Now, if you have Microsoft 365, then on the insert tab, you can insert pictures from stock images. And in here, you can just search for abstract and scroll through until you find an image that you'd like to use. Keep in mind that the colors in the background image are going to dictate the color theme of your whole dashboard. Here's the one I'd like to use. Let's go ahead and insert that. Now, if you don't have 365, let's just look at the other options. So we're just going to insert a new blank slide. And instead of using an image, you can right click on the canvas and go into format background. And on the right hand side, you can use any of these options here. For example, we could create a gradient fill and it's remember the one that I did earlier, or you could import a picture from your PC. If we go back to this one, the next thing to do is to add the shapes where you want your charts and headings. So on the insert tab, I'm going to insert a shape and I just want a straight line, first of all, to create a section for my heading. So we're just holding down shift and drawing it across and then let's go ahead and format it. You can use the eyedropper to grab a color from your background, perhaps for the shape. The other thing I want to do is have some navigation in my report because I've actually got two dashboards. So I'm going to insert this rectangle with the rounded corners on the top. And we're just going to put one there and then holding down shift and control, I'm going to copy it across. We'll make the current slide a bright color and we'll just choose a color from the background. So we'll go with this orange color and this one here, we'll make it a color also from the background, but a bit darker. Actually, it might need to be a little lighter than that because it needs to stand out from the background. So maybe that lighter shade of brown. Let's select them both and we'll get rid of the outline. The next thing I want to do is insert some shapes for my charts to sit on. And I want rounded corners, so I'm going to go with this rectangle with rounded corners. And keeping in mind the layout of your current dashboard, you want to draw in the shapes to suit it. And obviously you're probably going to need to tweak some things once you import the background, but at least you'll have a rough idea to start with. Now I'm going to give these shapes a dark color from my background and I want it to be quite dark. So we'll go with one of these browns up here. And in order to make it stand out a bit more, I'm going to give it a 3D effect. Now, because I've got a dark background, I can't really use shadows. Instead, I'll use glow. But first of all, let me get rid of the outline on this shape because it's blue. And then up under shape effects, I'm going to use glow and there's already an orange one there that's suitable. So with that shape formatted the way I want, I'm just going to hold down shift and control and left drag to copy it. And likewise across, holding down shift and control. These are actually probably a bit too wide. So let's make them narrower and we'll move that one across. This one here goes all the way across. And the last one is a vertical alignment. So we'll make that vertical for the bar chart. So there's the rough layout of my chart placeholders. You can use the alignment tools up on the formatting tab, align and then align top. Obviously holding down shift keeps them aligned. So I don't need to worry about that. But if you happen to draw your shapes in without using shift and control to copy them, then you might need to do some alignment before you save your background. So that's it. I'm happy with that. Now I actually have two dashboards. So I'm going to click and control copy this background. And in order to indicate that a different tab is selected, I need to switch the colors around here. So instead of the orange, I'm going to go with the brown. And then this one is going to be the orange color. 
Okay, so there's my two separate backgrounds. All I need to do now is save them as an image file. I can do that by doing File Save As or using the keyboard shortcut F12. Now in here, I want to choose either JPEG or PNG. I prefer PNG, so I'm going to go with that. Then give it a name. This is the first background, so I'm going to call it Background 1 and Save. It's going to ask me which slides. I just want this current one. So now that it's saved, I can go back into Excel and on the Page Layout tab, Background. Navigate to the file where you saved the PNG or JPEG file and Insert. Now it repeats the background across all of the cells in the entire spreadsheet. So what you want to do is hide any excess columns and rows. So just select them, right click and hide and then do the same for the rows. I'm just holding down shift and control and down arrow to select them all, right click and hide. And now you have a nice clean canvas for your dashboard. Now you might need to rearrange the size of the charts. You also need to make sure that the charts have no background fill or borders on them. And you can do that on the format tab. Make sure the shape fill is no fill and make sure the shape outline is no outline. And this will allow the background to show through the chart. Now I have two dashboards in this file, one for sales and one for shipping. So what I need to do is add in the hyperlinks on these buttons that's going to allow the user to navigate. We'll do that with text box shapes and I'm just going to draw them in on top of the button. So this one is sales. You can just apply some formatting. We'll make it yellow. Actually, we'll make it bright yellow and we'll make the font bigger. Okay, next we just need to get rid of the shape fill and the shape outline so it looks like it's just the button. And holding down Control and Shift, I'm going to left click and drag to copy it across for the shipping button. And this one needs the hyperlink. So with the shape selected, Control K to open the hyperlink dialog box. This one's going to take us to the shipping dashboard and we're going to go to cell C12. And that's because cell C12 sits behind the map chart and it's just going to hide the fact that a cell is selected. We'll click OK and let's just test it out. We'll click on a button and it takes us there. We can click on sales to go back. And I might just change this font just to give it a paler shade of yellow to make it look like it's not the selected or active tab. Now keep in mind that because the background is effectively filling the cell, you can still type in cells. So I could give my dashboard a heading. What you may find though, is if you resize column widths or row heights, it's going to mess with the background. So you may be better off always just inserting text using the text box shape. It's actually found down here in basic shapes, but I use it all the time. So it's up there in my recently used. Now, as you can see here, the background doesn't take up all of the space available on my monitor. If you want a background that fills the available space, you can use Excel to create it. So let's add a new sheet. And then on the insert tab, I can insert pictures. I have access to the same library with my Microsoft 365 license that I used in PowerPoint here in Excel. So I can add one from there. Alternatively, I can create my own background using a shape. And I'm just going to start in the bottom right corner and draw it up to the left. That's going to ensure it fills the space for my dashboard. And then I can layer on top of that more shapes for my chart placeholders, as you saw earlier. Let's just make these some different colors and we can copy those and you get the idea. We have all the same shape formatting for example, with the background selected, I can control one to open the formatting pane and I could apply a gradient fill just like we did in PowerPoint, or I can insert a picture here. Once you've applied all the formatting and you've got your chart backgrounds ready to go, deselect the shape and then take a screenshot. So we can either use the print screen button, which is available on all keyboards. Or if you have windows, you can use the windows logo key and then shift and S to open the snipping tool. So you can see my screen's gone dark and I can just highlight the section that is my background. That's going to open the snip and sketch tool and I can make some further edits here. When I'm ready, I can save it. And all I need to do is make sure it's a PNG file type. 
click Save, and then I'll close down the snipping tool, go into your dashboard, and on the Page Layout tab, you're going to add in your background. Obviously, I've already got one here, so my background button currently says Delete Background, but the process is exactly the same. So there you have a super easy way to create custom backgrounds. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. And why not share it with your friends who might also find it useful. Thanks for watching.